Merry Christmas, guys. It is November 10th, which means... It's Christmas. Christmas is here. Christmas is starting now. Um, I was in the parks for the last few days trying out Christmas things for you guys. A selfless. I told you enough with that joke. Um, trying out Christmas stuff, seeing how the Christmas things were. Um, so if you followed along, uh, go look follow at... Follow along. <laughs> if you follow along, of the long, along, you'll see the Christmas cavalcades that were awesome. The Christmas snacks, which of course were awesome. And just all the decorations. I thought Disney did an incredible job with Christmas. We only went to two parks, but Hollywood and Magic Kingdom. But really, those are the two most uh, decked out. So um, no pun intended. <laughs> but I want to go over the snacks. Let's give a little quick review of the things we tried. Um, and then a few news items as well. First up, Rise of Resistance changed the boarding group procedures. Um, you probably saw that instead of having to get the boarding group at 10 a.m. at Park Open, you actually can get that at 7 a.m. wherever you are. And we've confirmed that could be 12 hours away. You just have to have a park pass reservation for Hollywood. And um, you log into the app and you join the boarding group just like you would normally. So if you've done that before, um, same process. We were able to get boarding group number 20, which was a great number. You don't have to rush to the park. Uh, and yeah, like, I think if you have kids, it's a lot nicer. You're not having to wake them up and get them into the park for a shot yeah. at a boarding group. Yeah. You have to rush into the park. Make and sure you know you're ahead of time. And, and we, we also said you can change you your can. park reservation if you don't get it. Yeah. So you can make Hollywood like your first four days, mm -hmm. um, and just give yourself a chance to get it every day. So uh, people have done that. Yeah, um, you'd risk maybe not getting one if it's a crowded time of year for a different party. Yeah. But. but anyway, Rise of Resistance boarding group was awesome. Um, 7 a.m., same process. So that was good. Um, All Star Movies is going to be opening February 9th, so that's exciting. More. Going to get some new resorts opening and some more value resorts. Yeah, more budget resorts for people who, you know, who want to save money on the resorts. And something we've done for a long time is save money on the hotel and spend it other places. So all-star movies will be the cheapest resort open. Um, and, but let's get to Christmas. So Christmas in the parks, uh, Magic Kingdom, we did that on the first day. I wanna go through the snacks we tried. Again, they're all on the page, pictures all over the page. Um, the Let It Snow Taco at Pecos Bills, I thought was amazing. It's like a sugar cookie shell with like- A salted caramel mousse, I think is what what it says. I think it was list. chocolate they mousse. Like, I think it was white chocolate mousse, but um, like spiced white chocolate a little bit, almost mm -hmm. like a, almost like a gingerbread spice to it, but it was a, uh, I love the mousse stuff. Um, You're a mousse fan. I'm a mousse fan, team mousse, but uh, I thought it was awesome. It was well worth it. We all, uh, all three of us on the trip got it and all three loved it. Um, Orange Bird Christmas. So Orange Bird Christmas at Sunshine. Sunshine Tree Terrace. Mm -hmm. I'm in Adventureland in Magic Kingdom. Maybe it was my favorite snack at Magic Kingdom. Okay. Christmas snack. It was like a white chocolate shell and inside was white chocolate mousse. But like this orange curd is what they called it. It tasted a lot like a citrus swirl. Like very, very, very orange. Tart. Um, yeah. And I thought it was, it all went well together. The flavors blended Complimented nicely. Complimented each other. It's an almond cake on the bottom. Mm -hmm. I thought it was spectacular. And we, again, something we all tried and loved. Um, spice up the holidays. Spice up the holiday chicken sandwich uh, at spicy Cosmic chicken. Rays. It had the spicy chicken from Sleepy Hollow. If you've been there, this, they put on the waffle um, on that brioche bun that they have at Cosmic Rays with some slaw and I some. Think it might have sriracha aioli too. Sriracha aioli. It was good. It was a it was a good chicken sandwich, but it wasn't. The Monster Mash Burger was way better but i thought it was good it was worth getting yeah um the macaroon this was not on the list of bells enchanted christmas tree yeah bells enchanted christmas tree macaroon yeah. um, at gaston's they took gray stuff off the menu and put this on there That's and i knew going in i wouldn't like it because i don't like macaroons they taste like a soggy cookie to me <laughs> And that, this one did taste like a soggy cookie to me. So if you like macaroons, you'd like it. But it had like a cranberry uh, curd in the middle. I don't know, with an orange frosting too. That part was 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 um, okay. But if you're a macaroon fan, you'll love it. I saw I've seen some good reviews of that. So, but I, did, I knew I wasn't gonna like it, but I tried it for you guys. Um, oh, one of my favorites. The fa la 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 funnel cake. Fa -la 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 -la. This was not on the list either. 
This was at Sleepy Hollow, and it was kind of basic, but it had the highest floor. It was not gonna be bad. It's a strawberry, it's a funnel cake with strawberry topping, like real strawberries. And, and then like um, powdered sugar, whipped cream, and the red and green sprinkles. Yeah, and it, go look at the picture of that amazing. thing. amazing. It was amazing. Can't but go wrong with the funnel cake. We knew it was gonna be amazing. That was the least, so that risky. was the least risky option. And you know, it was, it, again, it was kind of basic, but that was a, uh, that's what Sometimes, you want. That's a plus. Um, churro worth melting for? Yeah. These were incredible. There were churros <laughs> and, and they were worth melting for. <laughs> they had marshmallow fluff on top, like an icing, marshmallow icing, mm -hmm. and then they come with a it, they came with a the side, side of it. Of marshmallow fluff. I thought it was amazing. These were at um right outside of Dumbo. Mm -hmm. So Storybook Circus. And we got it in while we waited for Seven Dwarf Mine Train. I will say one change though, Disney made. You cannot eat and drink while waiting in line. Oh. Now I guess that's because too many people are walking around without masks at like the... Yeah, and you move so fast that you take your yeah. mask off and you move. Probably now, the nobody really the is enforcing that. So I did eat these in line, but... Um, it's a smart thing. Just be wise. Like, if you're away from people, but something to keep in mind. Um, the Yuletide Wishes. <laughs> this makes my top list, too. Yeah, it was a chocolate, like, log with it's chocolate a, icing. It's chocolate cake. It looked filled, like a Swiss roll. Filled with chocolate mousse covered in ganache. It's rolled up and it's filled with chocolate mousse and it's chocolate cake and it's covered chocolate in ganache. ganache. Yeah. It's almost as if you just heard that. Um, I think you, if you love chocolate, you will love it. I do not like dark chocolate that much. And it, it's, it's not all dark, but at the end it finishes dark. Yeah. I would think, I don't love dark chocolate, but this is the type of thing I do like because I like the balance with so much yeah. super sweet chocolate with dark chocolate. Yeah. I, I think I would have loved it. I would I, I would have liked a little more um like milk it's chocolate. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh it, and it it's not as bad when you're eating it, but after you eat it you realize how dark it was. Yeah. But I can highly recommend if you like chocolate, yeah. That's a plate. Your friend who that may be your favorite it, thing. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. My friend with me loved chocolate uh cake and he loved it. That's what you said, when it I mean, we're okay. just on a roll today. <laughs> Hollywood Studios, frozen salted caramel. Okay. Frozen it's caramel. salted caramel hot chocolate. <laughs> Look, this was amazing. I, I love frozen drinks. Um, and this this was... Yeah, it's also on my top list. It looked phenomenal. Over the top amazing. I love hot chocolate. Yeah, it's good. It's at every place at, at um, Hollywood Studios. Yeah. And if you can mobile order, you can get one. And talk about the cute zipper you got with it. Oh, the little uh, bell. The jingle bell. There's a little jingle bell glow green, cube that Mickey comes with it. The jingle bell and the little glow cube. Yeah. So um, cute. Yeah, it was awesome. And then we got the Mickey sugar cookie, which looks better than it tastes, but it's just a standard sugar cookie, which I like. You don't like sugar cookies, do you? I do. I don't like hard ones. I like them to be soft and warm. This is pretty soft. It's not warm, but it, it was had, covered in white chocolate, right? Yeah, right. Well, it's like red ice, some kind of red icing, but I don't know. I didn't have much of a taste. I read and wrote most of their descriptions, so I'm pretty sure it's chocolate. I can pretty much tell you how it tasted, though. I tried it. He can tell you the taste. I can tell you what it I don't it care said. what they called it. I'm telling you what it tasted like, what it really is. And then the pumpkin cheesecake from ABC Commissary. I confirmed I do not like pumpkin that much, but again, my friend who was there who does love pumpkin, love he said this was his favorite snack, but he said that about all 14 of them, so I don't really know exactly which one was his favorite. Yeah. Um, if he's if, he, if he's watching, he can comment below, but... um. I, I think if you're a pumpkin fan, I think you would love the pumpkin. There were only two you guys weren't a fan of, right? The, um, the macaroon. Enchanted the macaroon. Christmas tree. Yeah, I didn't like that. The macaroon and then the um, pistachio chai tea. Oh, which... yeah. Pistachio chai tea, which I was the only one that didn't like that. Okay. And I liked the pistachio soft serve. Mm -hmm. That was okay part. The chai tea was... So, if you, this is, again, if you like chai tea, you will probably like this. Yeah. I haven't seen any good reviews of this, though. Okay. But... Um, Except for the two people you were with. Well, they, they, they thought it was okay. They thought it was okay. A few things we didn't get. Um, Chippendale churros. We talked it up real big. Um, churros with apple pie on top. But I read over and over that this was not very good. So we, we had yeah, to... Yeah, you, you, you couldn't eat everything. We had so You ate close to it, but you couldn't eat everything. Um, and then we also found that there's a lot more snacks that they did not... Release. Uh, they yeah. did not release, yeah. So 
we every time we stopped at a snack stand, there was something else we didn't hear about. Even mm -hmm. like Bell's Enchanted Christmas Tree, we didn't have planned any plan to get that. Mm -hmm. The Falafel Funnel Cake yeah. wasn't announced. And spice up the holiday Even sandwich. Even Yule tied the no. the Yule log wasn't announced no. ahead of time. So be on the lookout. There's stuff all over. Hollywood was loaded. We can only get so much there too. Um, but what was your favorite overall? Oh, you didn't talk about. Um, Holiday Mickey Moose he got from Amaretts. Amaretts Patisserie. Look, guys, let me, let, me, let me take a little moment to talk about Amaretts. We had seen pictures of it, and it to me, it always looked like something that looked better than it was. Mm -hmm. Like the Mickey Dolls. Like it looked so nice, it probably wouldn't taste great. That was the best thing I ever eaten. <laughs> I'm not kidding, like that. And, and, uh, I, it was amazing. It was like um, white chocolate mousse with chocolate mousse. and like some like crispy on pearls a, in the middle. Yeah, on a chocolate chiffon, chiffon cake. Chiffon cake, which if you're fancy, you like chiffon. Um, is nine dollars for a little dome. But, but how big was it? It wasn't it was, tiny, right? No, Probably it was. Like, it, it set in my palm. Okay. Um, they but had sixty dollar like ones that would sit. No, right, no, okay. no, no. And they had like I've never seen a dessert case that was so loaded. I mean, it's cheesecake. He took a video. He's got to post it. Some of the cutest little cakes you've ever seen. And I mean, there it's it's not a cheap dessert place. It's no. a high end, but it should be high end. Like that 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 Mickey. It's Moose high stuff. quality chocolate. And I wanted the child. They actually have the the uh, child, the Baby Yoda um, cookies and cream one, but they only have forty a day. And someone bought it in line right the last one right in front of me. So, but hey, that might be a blessing because that Mickey Moose. Yeah. It's a play on words there. They added an S. <laughs> I don't know if y'all caught that. Um, but anyway, I think... Was, was the Holiday Mickey Moose your favorite? Yes. Yep, and then the Orange Bird Christmas was second. Yeah. If I had been, I think I would have liked the Fala Lala Funnel Cake, the Frozen Salted Caramel Hot Chocolate, and then it was a tie between the Yuletide Wishes and the Holiday Mickey Moose. Yeah, I thought... The Pala Lala Funnel Cake may actually have been the best thing, but that was something we knew was going to be great. Yeah. You know, it's kind of hard to put that. But in terms of, like, new adventurous things, that Orange Bird Christmas. Yeah, you loved it. I would, yeah, I wanted another. It's small. I wanted another one, but I didn't want to look like, be that guy. <laughs> Save some. And <laughs> apparently they run out. Oh. Apparently they do run out, kind of like the, um, the child. Um, And then the cavalcades. I'll speak to these real quickly. I saw all of the cavalcades. I thought they were fantastic. The Mickey one is the best. They play the Christmas parade soundtrack, like Boo to You. They play uh, the Once Upon a Christmas Time parade. Um, I thought there was less variety, though, with these cavalcades. They played the same song on every one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but they had the Goofy one, which was the gingerbread. Uh, Max was driving a gingerbread car, and Goofy was in front of a gingerbread house. And again, these are all posted on our page. Mm -hmm. And then Clarabelle was there. But again, the same soundtrack. And then Santa one. Had the reindeer that you see yeah, in the Christmas parade, cute. and Santa was and Santa was mic'd up and actually talking to people, oh, wishing cool. people happy birthday and happy anniversary, and uh, just as you can imagine, Disney Santa is actually Santa. Um, toy soldiers. The toy soldiers came with a marching band, the uh, the Main Street Philharmonic, and they played Christmas music. Uh, I think the I think the only thing about Halloween I liked better was the cavalcades. Just because I think okay. the Booty You Parade is better than the Christmas Parade. Which one had Mary Poppins? That was the first one with Mickey. Okay. That was a cool part was that all the characters you saw, Pinocchio, Geppetto, um, Mary Poppins and Bert, and just a few. I think Halloween's just more suited to a variety. Yeah. Because they have the specifically themed scary yeah. things. And Christmas, Christmas is all kind of uniform. Yeah. yeah. So... I think so too, and but I thought they were awesome. It definitely feels like Christmas in the parks, um, and the projections on the castle. You know, some people are upset about the dream lights, and I do think the dream lights are probably more spectacular, right? Because it's a physical, actual like. But those projections, go look at the pictures. Like the pictures, I can do it justice. When you see it, it is like breathtaking. What's better, the projections on Cinderella's castle or in Tower of Terror? Cinderella at castle. Hollywood Studios. Cinderella castle. Yeah. Hollywood Studios is awesome. The, uh, they're they're also projections. I on think just because it was unique, it was really cool. But I think it was kind of harder to see. With just the yeah, I mean the way the the way that the Tower of Terror has all those curves and yeah. corners and stuff, it was harder to project onto. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's awesome. But it looked amazing. It looks great, and at the end of Sunset Boulevard with all those lights, and the palm but the trees, castle, the row of palm trees. With a, a, yeah, it's hard to beat the castle, isn't it? Mm, it's it was awesome, and so that's definitely worth seeing. 
look, Christmas is, I think Christmas is better than Halloween this year in the parks. Um, I thought Disney kind of halfway did Halloween. It was good. Uh, but the snacks and every time you turn around, it, it's Christmas everywhere. It's like, it's the North Pole. So, and then, you know, we saw Santa at Hollywood Studios. I know Santa's also at Animal Kingdom and Epcot doing cavalcades too. So, um, he gets around quickly. Well, you know, space he time how many houses a night. So, shout out to, doesn't surprise me. Shout out to Charlie on the Santa Claus, <laughs> the space time continuum. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I hope this was uh, helpful. It's a little long video. So, if you made it here, you're a big fan. Uh, but and we appreciate you. We're going to do a podcast here shortly um, with more detail about things and Christmas and, and parks were crowded and, uh, and you kind of how to navigate that. But uh, yeah, I hope this helps you plan your Christmas. And it's not too late to get Christmas. Uh, it's not. Christmas book. So reach out to us today. We'll help you experience uh, the fa la 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 fun okay. <laughs> so, all that said, we will come back next week with more tomfoolery. But until then. See ya.